everyone welcome back again to my channel in this channel I'll be showing you how to make uh, your flares this paper I'm going to be using is a sample paper so you can use this for any of your style you want to make with your flares so this is a sample paper I'm going to get my midpoint for the sample paper but I've already got my midpoint I don't want to do it again so I'm going to use this paper to show you so this to get my midpoints, this is what I did for this paper. You can use apply the same method as well. You fold it like this, make sure it's equal there. So from there, you fold this again to this place like this. Make sure it's equal. So you can see from there. You cut it the scissors you can see that's your midpoint this one so that's what I did on this paper so now I'm going to cross here with the midpoints so I'll be using my a pen Cross it to the end. So from there, you cross here again like this. So the length of the the flares I'll be using is three. So three year on my measurement tape is this. This three. So. I'll go from here, from this midpoint, I'll put it like this, get my three, I'll do the same thing, oh sorry, it's the part of my hand, so I'll do the same thing to this place, that's my three, same thing here as well, that's my three, and the same thing here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to circle it round. Just so remember this is a sample you know, paper which you can use. So my circle won't be perfect. So that's my circle. So the next thing from here, I'll make, I'll get a. Um, Another three from here. So from this point, put it here like this. That's another three. So from here to here, I'll circle it out. So from here to this point, I'll just draw it like this. So this will allow the, the flesh to have a, a tiny edge. So from here, I'll be taking off my three now from here. From here, from here, like this. Three. Then I connect the line. And from here again. Three. From this point again. Three. So I keep on connecting the line. Like this. I'll do the same thing here. Three, three, same thing here as well. Three, and three. So I'll connect the lines like this with my pen. So I'll go here again, the same thing. Three, three. Just do it all around three, three, three. So I'll connect it like this. I'll go down again like this. Three. I connect the line again. Go like this again. Three. I connect the line again from here. I just keep on doing it. Three. Three. I connect the line again. And I'll come here again. From this place, make sure you put it on this angle here. There. 
I'm going to mark three. I connect it again from here. Then from here again, three. I connect it again. Three. And three. I connect again. Three. And three. I connect again. Three. And three. I keep on connecting. I just do all do it all round. Just taking out my three for my tape measurement. I'll be connecting it all round like this. Keep on doing it like this. Three. And I connect it again. And I connect again. Then another three again. I just keep on connecting. From this angle, three, 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 three. Till you get to the end. Three, connect again. That spot. And from here, three, connect again, get to that spot. That three again, I connect again, get to that spot. Then connect again, get to that spot. Keep on connecting it. From here, again, three. Keep on connecting. I draw it like this till you get to the end of the you see so from here you can't get to be anymore so just leave it let me just do it last night I can't get to it so I'll just like this leave it so if you want to cut it I would suggest you cut from the middle that's already opened So now I'm going to cut off this circle. Well, I don't need this circle anymore, so I'm going to cut it off. Just cut it round. You can use this for your your design for your skirts, your blouse, your hand hole. Just cut it off from here. Just keep on cutting. I'm going to cut off the circle in the middle because you don't need that circle anymore. The circle is off now. So from here, there's a spot here. That's the edge. I will go here. Yeah, I started the the marking from. I start cutting from here. Start following the step. Cut all round. Just follow the step. So you can see it's turning. So you just cut it all round like this, like this. Just keep on cutting like this. Just follow the shape. Cut, 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 cut. To get to the middle, to the end of the place. When you get to the end, you just strictly cut it from here like this. You see? So I'm going to finish cutting it. So guys, I finished cutting it. I know it's a piece of paper, so it will not stand properly. So if you apply this method on your material, your flash will come out like this. You see, it's all curly. You see, it's all curly like this. The sample. So let me give you another one I did before. But I didn't put this rep, this video on. You can see that if that's the flush you're gonna get. You turn it like this, you see, you just apply it on your skirt or your hand hole. So if you want to attach the flour, the flour to your skirt, don't attach it from here. No, I know you won't do that. You attach it from here, from the top. 
you can see that that was the edge the sharp edge which i cut out so you apply it from here you see you start from the top here like this this is the material sample which i did start from there you can attach this skirt that influence to your skirt from this angle not from here you see it you just stand like this on your skirts so guys if you like this tutorial please like share and subscribe and don't forget to share my video and i'll see you on my next video bye for now